equations. In this video, we're going to graph linear inequalities with me, Catherine. The first thing we're going to do is take a couple minutes to review the inequality symbols, and then we're going to get right into graphing inequalities. Here are my inequality symbols. This one means less than. This one means greater than. An example would be 6 is less than 9. And how I learned it is the alligator wants to eat the bigger number. An example for greater than is 7 is greater than 3. Once again, I learned that the alligator wants to eat the bigger number. When we graph linear inequalities, any time we have a less than or a greater than symbol, we're going to use a dotted line for the line. Let's look at the next two symbols. We have less than or equal and greater than or equal. An example of less than or equal would be 6 is less than or equal to 9. We could also say that 5 is less than or equal to 5. These are both true statements. I could say 7 is greater than or equal to 3. I could also say that 4 is greater than or equal to 4. In this case, when we graph linear inequalities, we're going to use a solid line. So let's just get to it. We're going to graph the inequality y is less than or equal to 2x minus 1. The first thing we need to do is write the inequality in y equals mx plus b form. Well, it's already in that form, so that's pretty cool. We're going to forget the inequality for a minute and find the slope m and the y-intercept b. You don't need to have the inequality here when we're trying to find the slope and the y-intercept. So I'm going to write my y equals mx plus b right underneath it. My slope is 2 and my y-intercept is negative 1. That's it. Do you notice I didn't even have to worry about the inequality symbol. Next, we need to graph just like we always do. The first thing I'm going to do is graph my y-intercept, which is negative 1. You're going to keep your pencil on that point because we're going to graph the slope next. Well, the slope is 2. Hopefully you remember that we have to write it as a fraction, 2 over 1. That's rise over run. What exactly are we going to do? We're going to go up 2 and then we're going to run to the right 1. Here's my pencil. I'm going to go up 2 and run 1. Perfect. I'm going to go up 2 and run 1. Perfect. So far, we haven't done anything new. Next, we're going to see how an inequality actually changes the graph. Before we draw the line, we need to decide, is it going to be solid or dotted? Hopefully you remember that since the inequality has a line under it, it's telling us that it's less than or equal to, and it needs to be a solid line. Pick a test point not on the line, like 0, 0. The answer to an inequality is not just a line, it's a whole region. So we need to figure out if the solution set is above or below the line. That's why we're picking a test point. And 0, 0 is always the easiest, unless it's on the line. Basically, where are the ordered pairs that will make this inequality true? That's the region. Every ordered pair that makes the inequality true is in that region. So here's my inequality. I'm going to put 0, 0 in. 2 times 0 is 0, so 0 is less than or equal to negative 1. Is that true? Well, no. That's not true, because 0 is not less than or equal to negative 1. That means 0, 0 is not part of the solution set. No, we do not shade the region that has the order pair 0, 0. We shade the other side. So what exactly am I saying? Here's 0, 0. 0, 0 is not a solution, so I can't shade the 0, 0, which means I can't shade any of this which tells me that every point on this side is a solution to our inequality. And of course shade, well I already shaded because that's the fun part, right? 
Now let me show you that any point in the shaded region makes the inequality true. So I decided to randomly pick a point 85. You're going to notice that 85 is in my shaded region. The inequality will be true when I put 8 in for x and 5 in for y. So we're going to substitute the ordered pair into the inequality. There, 2 times 8 is 16, so I have 5 is less than or equal to 16 minus 1. 16 minus 1 is 15, and yes indeed, 5 is less than or equal to 15. So what does that mean? That every point in the shaded region will make the inequality true. And this is the solution to y is less than 2x minus 1. It's also the reason that we shade the whole region, because all of the ordered pairs are solutions. Let's look at another example. Graph the inequality y is less equal to negative 4x plus 5. So first we're going to write the inequality in y equals mx plus b form, which it already is in. Now, we're going to forget the inequality, and we're going to find the slope and the y-intercept. You don't need to have the inequality. We're not going to worry about that when we find the slope and y-intercept. It's not needed. But we do have to write y equals mx plus b underneath it, because negative 4 is m, which is my slope, and 5 is b, my y-intercept. The first thing we have to do, graph the y-intercept, which is 5. You're going to put your pencil on that, by the way. Use the slope to find the next point. Well, our slope is negative 4. Remember, slope is rise over run, so I have to write it as a fraction. If we remember, when we were talking about slope in a previous video, the negative sign only goes to one of the numbers, and I like to put it in the top. So we have negative 4 over 1, which is our rise over run. What exactly am I going to do? I'm going to go down 4 and I'm going to go to the right, or run 1. Put your pencil on the point, we're going to go down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and we're going to run 1. There's our next point. Let's do it again. Down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and run 1. Perfect. Now, we have to decide, is this a solid or a dotted line? Well, since we're using the inequality less than, it's going to be a dotted line. So that's what we draw. Our final step is to decide which region are we going to shade. That means we need to pick a test point. And I like to use 0, 0 as a test point because it's the easiest. Make sure it's not on the line though. I'm going to put 0, 0 in for my x and y. And when I simplify, I get 0 as less than 5. Since this is true, every point in the region, including 0, 0, is part of the solution set. Here's 0, 0. Since, yeah, it makes the inequality true, I know that I have to shade that side. And that's it. You're done. I would like you to try this one. You're going to graph the inequality. So you're going to pause the video, graph it, and then press play to check. All right, let's see how you did. The first thing is we need to write the inequality in the form y equals mx plus b. Well, we're pretty lucky because it's already in that form. Now, we need to decide what is the slope and what's the y-intercept. So I write y equals mx plus b underneath it. Yeah, it's a little off, but that's okay. Remember, we don't have to worry about the inequality at this point. All we want to do is to find the slope and the y-intercept. So our slope is 1 half, which is m, and our y-intercept is negative 3. Let's graph the y-intercept, which is negative 3. Perfect. Put your pencil there, because we're going to plot the slope next. We know the slope is 1 half. Remember, that's rise over run. So what exactly does that mean? That means from that point that we just plotted, the y-intercept, we're going to go up 1, and then we're going to go to the right 2. We're going to run 2. Here's my pencil. I'm going to go up 1, and then run 2. I'm going to go up 1 and run 2. All right, great. Our next decision is, is the line going to be solid or dotted? Well, we have to look way up at our inequality. Since the inequality is less than or equal to, we have that line there. 
That means we're going to have a solid line for our line. <laughs> now we're going to pick a test point because we have to decide which region we're going to shade. Like I've said before, I like 0, 0 as the test point because it's the easiest. So I'm going to substitute in 0, 0, and I end up with 0 is less than or equal to negative 3. Well, this one's not true. So that means every point in the region not including 0, 0 is part of the solution set. Um, what? Here's 0, 0. 0, 0 is not true. So we are not going to shade this side. We're going to shade this side. Perfect. If we read this again, every point in the region not including 0, 0. So this region does not include 0, 0 is part of the solution set. Here's another one for you to practice. You're going to pause the video, graph the inequality, and then press play to check. I'm going to give you a little hint. You're going to have to find y equals mx plus b. All right, let's see how you did. The first thing is we need to write the inequality in y equals mx plus b form. Now remember, we don't care about the inequality right now. So I'm just going to put an equal sign there. It just helps our brains. All we need to do is find the slope and the y-intercept. To get y by itself, I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. This leaves me with y equals negative 2x plus 3. And voila! Guess what? We have y equals mx plus b. Now, I just need to figure out the slope m and the y-intercept b. Well, the slope is going to be negative 2, and the y-intercept is 3. Now, how easy was that? And now, it's the fun part. First, we have to graph our y-intercept, which is 3. And you're going to put your pencil there, because next, we're going to figure out the slope. m is negative 2, but remember, we have to write it as a fraction. So we're going to have negative 2 over 1. That means rise over run. So what exactly are we going to do? We're going to go down 2, and then we're going to run 1. Let me show you how that works. Here's your pencil on the point. You're going to go down 2 and to the right 1. Cool. All right, down 2 and run 1. Perfect. Next, we have to decide, is it going to be a solid or a dotted line? So we have to go all the way back up to our inequality. Since the inequality is greater than or equal to, we're going to put in a solid line. There it is. Now we need to pick a test point not on the line, and 0, 0 is the best option, as long as it's not on the line. Okay, so here's our inequality, the original. We're going to put 0, 0 in there, so we have 0 is greater than or equal to 3. Well, that's not true. So every point in the region not including 0, 0 is part of the solution. What exactly am I saying? 0, 0 does not make the inequality true. So 0, 0 is not in our region. It's not part of the solution. So I have to shade the other side. And that's it. You did it. Here's another one to practice. You're going to pause the video, graph the inequality, and then press play to check. All right, let's see how you did. Well, hopefully you noticed the first thing you had to do was put it into slope-intercept form. Once again, do not freak out. It, the inequality doesn't matter at this point. All we need to do is find the slope and the y-intercept. So I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. I have 6y equals negative 3x plus 12. Well, I need y by itself. So the opposite of multiplying is dividing. So I'm going to divide each term by 6. I end up with y equals negative 1 half x plus 2. And guess what? That looks exactly like y equals mx plus b. That's how we're going to find our slope, m, and our y-intercept, b. So our slope is negative 1 half, and our y-intercept is 2. Now that wasn't hard at all. Next, we have to graph the y-intercept. Well, our y-intercept is 2, so that's super easy. Now put your pencil on that spot, because next, we're going to find the slope. 
Well, the slope is negative 1 over 2. Remember, I can only put the negative in front of one of the numbers, and I always like to put it in the top. Slope means rise over run. So what are we going to do exactly? We're going to go down 1, and then we're going to run to the right 2. Here's my pencil. I'm going to go down 1 and run 2. Down 1 and run 2. All right. The next step is to decide, is it a solid or is it a dotted line? Since we have greater than, it's going to be a dotted line. Perfect. We need to pick a test point not on the line. I like 0, 0. Why are we doing this? Because we need to know which side to shade. Which side has all of our answers on it? I'm going to put 0, 0 into the inequality and I end up with 0 is greater than 12. Well, hopefully we all know that that's not true. So every point in the region not including 0, 0 is part of the solution set. Well, it's hard to see, but 0, 0 is right here and 0, 0 is not part of my solution set. So that means I have to shade above and you just did it. All right, here's the self quiz. You're going to pause the video, find the answers, then press play to check. Let's see how you did. We're going to complete the graph by shading the correct region. They give us the inequality x plus 7y is greater than or equal to negative 5, and they've already graphed it for us. When we look at the right, we have to figure out which one of these is shaded correctly. Well, the first thing we know, it's going to be a solid line. So anything that's dotted, we're going to cross off right away. The next thing I'm going to do is pick a test point. So what I do is I pick 0, 0. 0 is greater than or equal to negative 5. So it's true, and we're going to shade this side with 0, 0. Here I am looking at my graph. Here's 0, 0. That means everything up here is going to be shaded. So let's look at our possible answers. Here's A. Well, A is not going to be an answer because nothing is shaded. Let's look at B. It looks kind of good, but the problem is, is that the wrong side is shaded. Up here should be shaded, not that one. Let's look at D. Well, it's kind of hard to see, but hopefully you see that this is a dotted line. And nope, that's not right. And then the other thing is the wrong side is shaded, so it's not that one. This one, perfect. We have a solid line and the top is shaded. C is our answer. Graph the inequality on a plane. Basically, they're just asking us to graph the inequality. The first thing I have to do is get y by itself. So I'm going to subtract x. And I have y is less than negative x plus 1, which is my y equals mx plus b. My m is negative 1, and my b is 1. So I graphed my y-intercept, which is 1. Now I have to figure out my slope. Well, my slope is going to be negative 1 over 1. Remember, any time we have a number without a fraction, it's just over 1. And I put the negative in the top because I like it in the top. We have rise over run. Negative 1 over 1 is rise over run. So let's look at our point. Hopefully you remembered to put your pencil here. We're going to go down 1 and over 1. Down 1 and over 1. Perfect. Now we have to decide, is it solid or is it dotted? In this case, it's going to be dotted because it's a less than symbol. Finally, we're going to do a test point of 0, 0. I'm picking 0, 0 because it's not on the line, and 0, 0 is super easy. I substituted in 0, 0. Is 0 less than 1? That's true. So we're going to shade the region with the order pair 0, 0. Here's 0, 0, and I'm going to shade that region. Perfect. Thanks for watching. Now remember, the only way to get good at graphing is to practice. Look in the description box below for links to free worksheets with solutions. And make sure to subscribe because you don't want to miss another episode.